hype when someone gets a block. From the pack row, it is Wooker. Watch out. <laughs> Likewise, it's pretty hype when you get a back row attack like that. <laughs> now McKenna Wooker has one of the heaviest arms. We will say it all day. But knows how to play against a team like Minnesota. And she's going to be, again, crafty, dynamic with her hits. McKenna Wooker going to that back. Again. Boy, what a tough serve from Wooker once more. They want to get her off the service line as quickly as possible. And Lanfair finds the... Probably not super fast, but Taylor has such a heavy arm. She's able to get her on the ball and put the ball... Susanna Davis at the line, up the middle. Awalea says, we'll take care of this and we'll take set number one. It goes... Pointing at her and I'm saying setter is live or setter is hot. Watch out, I got that two ball over. What else is hot is mid success this year. Plus all the work she put in in the weight room to build some strength on her six foot seven frame. But speaking of strength, about that it separates kind of like you know, the big girls with the not big girls. You know, that's what really, when you get into that top 10 ranking, that's what sets these teams. Iowa keeping the point alive. Shaftmaster looking to prowl, and in her two attempts. Third of bench is, is deep, and it does, they do a great job of that. Mateo tracks it down. Minnesota's blocked with the rejection. One more time, and how about you go back to the fundamentals. So it starts with your first touch, and you have to stay disciplined on the wall. And a shanked pass there to Urquhart brings me. Lutner has to readjust. Murr underneath it. They got a land fair again, and she goes off and through. Going to force the other team out of system. Lutner at the service line, up the middle. It has been Erica Davis. She. They target Landfair. Shaftmaster looking to Wooker. And dropping it down is Groats. Minnesota survives unranked Iowa.